It's not easy being a bilingual journalist in Boston. As a second generation immigrant, Natalie Post was upholding the values her parents had back home. Born in New York to Cuban parents, Natalie Post was an award-winning journalist who, despite spending most of her time covering other people's stories, today she is sharing her story. I think I have an appreciation for freedom of speech because of where my parents are from. They were born in Cuba, a communist country, and people there um, cannot really speak out. The media is government run, so if people speak out against the government or express their opinions, uh, there's some serious consequences for that. So I think um, that's one of the reasons why I even got into journalism, because I value freedom of speech so much. Natalie, who speaks fluent Spanish and English, had the chance of a lifetime to cover his story, which she had to translate live on air. We were the only station in the market that was able to bring our viewers what was happening in that moment as that story was unfolding because I was able to speak the language and able to translate what was being said. Natalie Poso hopes the future generations remember to be human first before being a journalist. You're not just a journalist trying to get the story. For you, you are trying to get the story, but you have to realize that while this may be just a story for you, this is real life for a lot of the people that you're doing these interviews with. Award-winning journalist Nali Poso is a successful anchor who will continue to give a voice to those who don't have one. I'm Sofia Hernandez.